things in training as well? Yeah, I just want to become more fluid, work on my hands, work on my pass protection, um, just be a better all-around player coming back. And I feel confident that, you know, I uh, accomplished that over the last season. Yeah. How much different do you feel at this point this year? Than at this point, I mean, it's just really getting my feet back in the building, um, meeting some of the new faces around the locker room, and, uh, I mean, just reconnecting with the guys because I feel like I haven't seen them in forever, so it's, it's nice being back here. What was your first reaction when you heard Joe Mixon was not going to be here this year? Yeah, I mean, he's done so much for this team, this city, the fan base. Um, we're going to miss him. Uh, I gave him a call just to see how he was doing, what his mindset was. But, um, yeah, no, he was uh, – he's definitely in a good place. Um, Texans are going to be a great city for him. He's going to kill it out there. So I'm, I'm excited for him in that sense. But um, opens up a lot of opportunity over here. And uh, I'm excited to get back to work with Chris and Trey and Zach and, um, you know, just kind of mold this running back room into, uh, you know, something new. Have you had a chance to talk to Zach? Not yet, no, no. Whenever he comes in here, that'll be the first time I talk to him. I, I messaged him on Instagram, and we kind of chatted a little bit, but no, not in person yet. Year two is always a big deal for an NFL player. And no doubt. Now you get to, to experience that. How much are you looking forward to actually having a full off season in the building? Yes, I mean, this is my second time around, so, you know, you're not – the playbook's not new. Um the coaches aren't new, the guys in the locker room aren't new, so it's just you, you kind of feel like you're at home, and that's how I feel right now. Um, but what I want to do most is just build on what I did last year, um, kind of turn it on more at the end of last season and just uh, um, help this team win games in any way possible and just be a complete player for um, everybody and just do everything I can to help win games. Do you welcome having more on your plate? Definitely. No, I, definitely. I mean, I, I did it in college. That's why we're in this building. I think everybody in here um, has the same mindset of, you know, competing and producing in any way that they can. And that's just my mindset every single day. And however that comes, I, I'm ready to take on whatever comes my way. What happened with your hamstring? And is that something that is different for you in terms of your training and, and maybe getting your body in a different way so a soft, not that you can control it, that a soft tissue injury yeah. like that doesn't, doesn't step in as much? Yeah, no, I'll be, I'll be fine. My, my hamstring feels great. Uh, I didn't even think about it once during the off-season training. It's just um, giving my all here, giving my all mentally, and I'll be fine. I mean, my body, I think that's just like, you know, coming off the bye week, um, running full speed early in the week, I think just got me there. But now I'm in a completely different place. I mean, it's coming off a strong off-season. Going into year two, uh, I'm in a great headspace. My body feels really good, so I'm not worried about that. What, what is the dynamics of this running back room look like now? The dynamics, yeah. Um, I mean, we'll see there. It's just there's, there's a huge opportunity for the guys in that room. Um, however that plays out, um, we'll see. But right now it's just, you know, taking it one day at a time, um, getting to know the new guys that just came in and um, making the most of that. And then once training camp comes around and the real um, – competition and the real evaluation of you know how that will play out we'll see then